So let's create a gauge chart with a gradient background color for a single segment. So to give it a background color that is gradient, we need to adjust this area here. So you can see here right now we have red and black. And what I want to do is the red color will be eventually a gradient color. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to remove this and we're going to say here, this will be a context. And this context here gives us access to within the object itself. And then from here on, we can start to do something. So if I do a console log here, you will know exactly what we see here. If I refresh this, open up developer tab, you can see here we get the access of the entire background object. So this is very important for us. And later on, this data index of zero will be very useful. Or more specifically, this data index. This is the one we need. All right. So what we're going to do is here is the first thing is we need to put in a uh, object destructuring so we're going to say constant chart will be equal to context dot chart so we have access to a top level object and if i'm not mistaken it should be here as well or it doesn't show here but probably it's somewhere in here that we're having the ability to access the top level chart anyway once we did this we're going to do an con uh, a object destructuring again but now we're going to break down the chart and split it out into three items that we need, or sorry, two items only for our case, CTX and the chart area. These two are very important for us. So now once we have this, we can start to work on it. However, if I do a console log, you will see that the chart area will give an error or a undefined, as you can see here. This undefined can give us a problem if we don't handle this immediately. So what we're going to do with this undefined, we're going to say basically this, if chart area, if there's no chart area, basically it's undefined. In that case, we turn null. So basically here it will return nothing at all. For now, that is fine. Although you can see here, it doesn't show anything anymore. So this is a protective mechanism to avoid the error. Now we can use it again because the reason why it doesn't show is usually in the first second, it's loading, so the animation is still working. As you can see, if I refresh, you can see here the animation is working. So once it's done, it works all fully. And it's so that means that now we can continue on. However, what I want to do is I want to say here the context.data index equals strict zero. Why? As I said earlier, we're going to only focus on this number eight here or this segment that will be gradient. The other, other segments will not have that gradient color. So what I'm going to do here then is if this is the case, and that's true, in that case, we turn get gradient, and then we get here the chart object, and the chart object is basically this one here. So now we have this. What I want to do here is, as well, else, so if it's not index zero, then we just return the color black. Very straightforward. So we have only one single item as a gradient. So if I save this right now, of course it doesn't do anything because the get graded is not defined. So this is a function that we're going to define right now. And we can put that here below. So we're going to say here function get gradient and the get gradient will have the chart object. So once we have this, we're going to do an object destructuring constant. And then we're going to say here CTX chart area. And we could basically get here the top bottom basically the position so top bottom left and right so if you don't understand what chart area is please watch my video understanding chart js uh, chart area which, which is also part of the object destructuring both of these things are really important to understand i have videos please watch them so then once we have this we can start to work with our gradient so i'm going to say a constant and we say here gradient segment because we want to give it a or want to give the segment a specific color and we're going to say your ctx to draw in the canvas and then we're going to say you create linear gradient and then we have here basically the x starting position then we have here the x ending position then we have the y start and then we have the y ending luckily this will be very simple for us because oh i don't want to do it like that i don't need this but this will be quite straightforward because we want to have a horizontal effect. So we don't have to do, uh, oh, sorry, this should be the Y start as well. And this should be the X ending. And that will be the Y ending. Anyway, doesn't matter. 
Well, I want to have the x value, which is the horizontal value. So we're going to say here, we start at the left, and then we go to the right side. That's basically it. So we're only getting the left and right. This we just leave on zero, so we don't get a diagonal effect. So we don't want to have any other changes except from left to right color effect. Very straightforward. All right. Once we have this, we need to define the colors. I'm going to get simple colors, red, uh, orange, and green. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say gradient, segment, which is basically the constant here. And then we're going to say here, dot, add color, stop. Basically, we're going to say here, when would the color start and when it will eventually stop? So we say it starts at zero, which is 0%. Uh, and 0% is then the very starting point on the left side in pixels. But this is a percentage variable. So that's very important to remember. So we're going to say here, it will start with red. And as we continue on, if we go halfway, we want to make it orange. So we say orange, but then that's 50%. So we say 0.5%. And then at 100%, which is the full rainbow, basically, number one, we make this green. Once we did this, I'm going to say return, and the return will be, of course, the gradient segment. Save this. Refresh. There you are. Now it works nicely. Of course, we can test this by saying now I want to change this to, uh, let's say, 3, and this will be 6. Save. Refresh. And you can see here it changes it nicely. And that's it.